Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chat, where today we're going to compare the speed and performance of the iPad Pro and the iPad Pro. Obviously, this is the newer small 9.7 inch iPad Pro, along with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which came out late last year. So we're going to start with a boot test, as you can see, uh, and we're not expecting to see a huge difference between them. Before we start the app launching test, you can see there's nothing running in the background, and both tablets are running the latest iOS 9.3.1 software, so they're on an even playing field. We're just going to see the difference in hardware and see how that influences performance. Let's start with a couple of benchmarks. Uh, first of all, we're going to run the Geekbench 3 benchmark, and thanks to the miracle of editing, we can jump straight to the score. There's a 5.3% difference in the single core and 4.1% difference in the multi-core. If we jump to the Antutu benchmark, once again, there's quite a big difference, 9% between the two devices, but let's see how this translates into real-world performance with some app launching tests. We'll start with uh, Crossy Road, uh, and we'll get that launching and see which one loads up first. As you can see, it's sort of pretty much on par there. There's a split second advantage to the iPad Pro, the bigger one. Uh, but let's uh, move on to Angry Birds and see which one loads faster. Once again, that's about 0.5, maybe a second difference, really not anything significant at all. So let's move on to Real Racing 3. So there seems to be about two or three second difference there, a little bit more significant, but let's move on to some other apps. So as you guys can see, there's not really a great difference between them in terms of performance when opening apps. There is a couple of seconds sometimes when launching more intensive apps like games, but generally there's really not anything between them, although the majority do seem to load just a split second faster on the larger 12.9 inch iPad Pro. But the biggest difference between them, as opposed to just a slightly different clock rate in terms of the A9X processor, is the fact that the big 12.9 inch iPad has four gigabytes of RAM compared to just two on the smaller, newer iPad Pro 9.7. So having opened quite a few apps, if we go back to say Real Racing 3 for example, you can see on the iPad Pro 12.9 it doesn't need to reload the game, but the smaller iPad Pro 9.7 does, that's quite a big difference. If we go back to Angry Birds 2 and open it, once again you can see the iPad Pro 9.7 needs to restart the game completely, whereas the iPad Pro 12.9, the bigger one, uh, can just carry on straight away without loading it again. This doesn't seem to be much of a difference in uh, slightly lighter apps or even on the Safari web browser, uh, but if we go back to games, let's try Crossy Road again, 
uh, we can probably see that, yeah, there we go, the uh, iPad Pro 9.7 has to load the entire game again, uh, whereas the Pro is just, sorry, the larger Pro uh, can just carry on right where we left off. So the biggest difference we're seeing here between the 12.9 inch Pro and the new 9.7 inch Pro is that extra RAM. That RAM allows uh, more apps to be open. They don't close as quickly if you open newer ones. So you can go straight back to them, which can be more useful for multitasking uh, and just basically jumping back into what you were doing. Uh, based on speed alone, it really doesn't make any difference. They're both blisteringly fast and just in general performance, navigating the home screen, opening apps generally, they are both very, very fast and there's not really much in it between them. So I hope you found this little speed comparison between the iPad Pro 9.7 and 12.9 helpful. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please do like, share and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and hopefully I'll see you again right here on the Tech Chat.